Welcome to Denmark. Uh, my name is Mads Ruh Jørgensen. I'm one of the two beamline scientists here at Denmark. We are a uh, material science beamline, the most recent one to take uh, light at Max 4. This beamline is a powder diffraction and imaging beamline. We've chosen these two techniques because that's where our user communities are really strong. The combination will give us access to the atomic structure of materials from powder diffraction and the meso scale down to 50 nanometers from imaging. And the imaging technique is also combined with tomography, so we get 3D information. The whole scientific goal of Denmark is to look at real materials at realistic time scales under realistic conditions. The name Denmark comes, of course, because we are funded primarily by Danish sources, but we will also be available through the uh, Max4 general user program. We uh, had some design goals that we would like to have a very stable beam. It should be uh, easy to, to tweak and operate. And uh, to do this, we uh, selected a non-conventional design without big mirrors. My name is Anakin Kanter, and I am the second beamline scientist of Denmark. I'm responsible for the imaging part of our activities. I'm standing inside the optics hutch of Danmax, which contains a number of devices used to monitor, diagnose, and condition the X-ray beam before it enters uh, into the experimental end station. What makes us different from the other beam lines is the fact that we have two different monochromators. First is a standard silicon 111 double bounce monochromator, uh, which delivers a high monochromatic beam in the 12 to 35 keV energy range. The second one is a bit less common. It's a, a double multilayer mirror monochromator, and it can select uh, bandwidths of uh, one to two percent and uh, provide a beam flux two orders of magnitude uh, more intense than the uh, silicon monochromator. And the high flux is very important for our high-speed tomography and high-speed imaging experiments in general. The two monochromators are designed in such a way that users have a freedom to choose either one or another, or both in combination, uh, in order to remove higher harmonics from the silicon monochromator. And uh, whatever operation mode users choose, the beam position always stays the same with a constant offset, which makes it uh, easy to switch between modes during experiment. Our main X-ray focusing device is also new to Max 4 because it's based on compound refractive lenses. One of the biggest advantages is that it's an inline device. It means when you change the focus of the beam, position doesn't change. It has six different cassettes, uh, which you can insert in any combination to change the lenslets, uh, so that you can uh, adjust the size, focal spot size on the sample. Tanmark saw the first light at the first week of June. The week after, we could see the first monochromatic beam, and in the following weeks, we managed to calibrate energy of the mono and get the useful beam in the end station and take first diffraction pattern. We're now inside the experimental hutch one, where I'm standing next to the uh, powder diffraction uh, instrument, the first of the two powder diffraction instruments that will eventually be here. This is based around the big area detector, uh, a Pilatus uh, cadmium telluride for high energy that can do 250 hertz. And then the main sample stage, a heavy duty hexapod that can carry sample environments up to 200 kilos. Everything has been built around these uh, X95 slides, so it's very uh, easy to modify and change the configuration for different experiments. And the same idea goes into this uh, main mount for sample environments where we've devised this uh, kinematic mount where users can easily uh, design sample environments with the corresponding mount and mount it here on the instrument within minutes. We took the first powder diffraction data on this instrument in uh, July, one month after seeing the light for the very first time. And here in the fall, we are continuing with the commissioning to be ready for expert users in early 2021. If you wonder why we have so much unoccupied space between these two units, this space will be occupied by the imaging instrument. Uh, and the imaging sample position is approximately here. And downstream is a four meter long granite bench uh, on which users can set uh, different types of uh, imaging uh, setups, including microtomography in absorption and phase contrast, uh, duct field microscopy, etc. Commissioning of this instrument is expected to start in the year of 2021. The last instrument uh, that will occupy this hatch will be a high resolution powder diffraction instrument, which will stay approximately here. This instrument is the last and it will arrive after the imaging end station. 
with any questions and for further details, feel free to contact us. And thank you from Danmax.